Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We have got a nice setup for the Intermountain West. The storm track that's hitting the Pacific Northwest right now, BC, Northern Idaho, Northwest Montana, will be dropping south. And that is going to set the stage for three different storm systems over the next nine days. Those are my headlines right there. Um, the first two storms basically cover this entire weekend. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into early Monday. The first storm of the bunch is going to be the warmest, and then each of the, the, the following, the final two storms will get colder. So while the first storm might produce a little higher snow level in some places, that will start to come down with the second and third storm. Let me just show you uh, what I'm looking at here as far as the storm track goes. Uh, let me just kind of uh, paint the storm track goes way up like this, and then it dips down because here comes the first storm system. Basically, the low is sitting right in here. There's another low here, and then there's some more action back here. The southern branch is also somewhat active um, like this. There's a little, little even a low right there. So what's basically going to be uh, happening is this storm will move in, um, and that's the warmest of the three. There's energy on the back side that will come in pretty fast and slide down the dip in the jet, becoming the second storm. And then out here, that becomes... Um, the third scenario, but that's down the road into next week. Um, this low right here might also play a role in getting trained in all of this. Um, not completely clear as to the timing of that if it does get entrained, but that may become a factor um, down the road. Let me show you what the, the interpretation is from the GFS model. Um, so let me take you into um, Thursday. Okay, so here's Thursday night. Here's Friday morning right here. Notice what we've got, low developing across the inner mountain west. You can see the snow is starting to break out over Utah and Colorado. Low dropping down through California. There's another low on the back side, like I was showing you in that on the infrared. That'll dive in immediately behind it, and then everything will start to gel. All right, so here's Friday night. Here's Saturday morning right here. Snow through Wyoming, Idaho, southwest Montana, big sky, Nevada, California, Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico. All right, here's Saturday afternoon, here's Sunday morning, right here. First storm is long gone up into the northeast. Second storm has dove in on the backside with some colder air. Um, you've got some additional accumulations there on Sunday. Wyoming, southern Idaho, and uh, Utah, Colorado, and northern New Mexico. Um, that storm that is rolling into the northeast, that's going to be a warm storm for Sunday with mainly a mix or rain. So that's a warmer storm, but even the northeast has colder storms coming into next week. Let me show you Monday morning. Here's Monday morning, some leftover snow showers in Utah and Colorado, northern New Mexico, and then that comes to an end during the day on Monday. All right, so here is Tuesday morning. This storm now, look at the northeast. This is a colder storm. Now you're looking at a mix or all snow at a lot of the ski areas in Vermont, New Hampshire, and also Maine. Look at that as it slides by. So you'll get some nice accumulation from that. All right, here's Wednesday morning. Here comes the third storm system dropping down from the Pacific Northwest. You can see it. It will bring a cold front with it. Here is Thursday morning, diving down through the Tetons, um, Wednesday night, Thursday into uh, Utah's Wasatch, into Colorado. Um, during the day Thursday, it snows hard with wind and cold air in Colorado, and then dives into northern New Mexico Thursday into Friday, and then it's done after that. So that's the three-storm combo at this point. Here are my totals all of today through the 7th. Some nice totals here. Now let me dig in and tell you my thoughts on this. So. Uh, the biggest numbers for Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, obviously, they, they come after the fourth. After the fourth is when the thing really dislodges, the first storm dislodges and drops south with the jet. So between the fourth, fifth, sixth, and probably into the early on the seventh, that's when a lot of these numbers are going to fall in Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Um, it looks to me like southwest Colorado gets a solid foot, and I'll be interested to see if the northern mountains, if I can't crank these numbers up a little bit in Steamboat. I know Cameron Pass is showing that trend, because if the low swings a little farther north along the northern front range, then the northern mountains should get some additional, some higher numbers of what I'm showing here. But that's sort of what I'm, I'm shooting at sort of the middle ground for the northern mountains now. But in Utah, I think it'll be at least a foot, probably 13, 14, 15, 16, um, by the time all is said and done after storm two. Now, storm three next week 
may bring the same numbers as this because it's colder, we'll have better raw graphics, better ratios. So um, this is the first, the real challenge is just forecasting how much snow this first warmer storm will drop because then the second one's gonna be colder and then the coldest will be the third. Um, about a foot up on the Tetons in Jackson Hole. Nice to see some snow through Heavenly Mammoth and Shasta, of course. Um, let me, here's phase two. So the eighth through the twelfth, and notice we basically do the same um, numbers over the Wasatch because that third storm, and this is largely what we're looking at here is the third storm. Um, the Wasatch will have colder air, potentially better water graphics, another foot for the Tetons, and about another foot for parts of Colorado as well, another basically six to 12 over I-70 and north. So it's good. We've got a nice pattern setting up here um, all the way into next week. Let me show you what I'm expecting for the northeast and keep in mind, um, the first storm on Sunday is too warm. That's not what we're gonna get these numbers. These numbers come next week with potentially two colder storm systems next week into next weekend. So that's why the numbers are big because this runs all the way through the 12th. So that'll capture most of next week. All right, so there we go. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. We've got a nice storm track setting up for the Intermountain West. Take care.